You're listening to the Major Pod Network, the only place where your favorite toy store, card shop, arcade, theme park, and arena are all on the same block. Scratch that major itch. Sullivan, the Taskmaster, and I'm here for an episode of WCW San Francisco Toy Makers. And let me tell you something. I'm talking about a dear friend. This is dedicated to the late, great Robbie Kadoff. Thank you, Robbie, for everything you did for me. Here's the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. Time to start the show. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. I am your host, the most professional wrestler, Brian Myers. And today is a very special day. It's a special edition episode, the history of WCW San Francisco Toymakers. Uh, Brian, you forgot original San Francisco Toymakers because there were a lot of imposters, I guess. These were the original. You know what? I'm <laughs> glad they put that in the name there, yeah. And I am your host, always ready, Matt Cardona. I'm always ready. To scratch that WCW figure itch. Well, I'm also here, producer of the show, Smart Mark Sterling Esquire, Dr. Silverballs, the Phil Jackson of wrestling, figure, collecting. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Here we are. Wow. Fifth just, year? Fifth year, just fourth, fourth year. Annual, fourth year. So annual have- historic episode, history episode. We've done LJN. We've yep. done Hasbro, we've done yep. Wrestling Buddies, we've done mm-hmm. Just Toys Bendems, and now it's the original San Francisco Toy Makers. Five so times. Check- Five time history. <laughs> we are we are the gift that keeps on giving to the wrestling. So check community. those out uh, in your podcast feed in the archives uh, on YouTube if you're watching on YouTube. We also have like ECW stuff up there. So much cool stuff. Check it out in the archives. We're here to talk about WCW original San Francisco Toy Makers. However, I know Fink wasn't a WCW, but I'll drop a however, we're just talking about the LJN-esque rubber figures. We're not talking about the vibrators. We're not talking about that that random Hogan Rodman two-pack. We're oh, not man. talking about the one with actions. Maybe maybe next year for those. This sure. is just the rubber figures. So, so the let, dog toys. Let's get into it. You know, Hasbro's, the big rubber guys. Hasbro's are dying out. <laughs> Um, I guess, you know, Just Toys WWF line is kind of starting, right? But you're kind of at a lull here where there's not much. If you're a wrestling figure fan, there's not a lot of meat on the bone for you right now, you know, early 95. Um, Especially if you're a WCW wrestling fan. WCW, you you've had lose. A, Oh, my uh, God. You've had a, a four or five year dry spell. You've had nothing. That's right. You're, mm. you're, you're using your Hasbro as in a fantasy fed, maybe. I don't know. And if you didn't live in the UK, you didn't even get those guys like that's Big also Josh, true. And you had no way of, the free without race. the internet, you had no way of knowing those even existed. So yeah. um I want to know your guys' personal memories of the first time seeing these figures, getting these figures. I was thinking about this today before I was recording. I I remember crystal clear the first time I got them, and that was the summer of ninety five. Growing yeah. up my family would always rent a house in North Carolina with like other families that we were friends with. And we'd be like, you know, 10 days, two weeks, whatever. And we'd stay out in North Carolina and get a big house and something, an annual trip we took every year. And I remember going to like a cow door or something to pick up like the groceries or whatever we're doing for that day for a barbecue. And I'm in the toy aisle and I see these things and I'm like, Oh snap. And I kind of like begged my godmother and my mom and I got, I want to say Hogan, Sting, Flair, and Vader. And I play with them the whole rest of the vacation. So what year were you saying? 95? Summer of 95 is what this is in okay. my head. Yeah. This is summer of 95. Sure. I remember getting them all as well. Um, I have like these weird memories of my like appendix bursting and then like coming home and playing with them all. You, dude, I've known you for 20 years. I never knew your appendix burst. I know, me neither. Oh, dude, yeah. I, got that, I got that Goldberg scar. Um, it like it burst like in my stomach. I was in the pool and I felt like I was getting stabbed. And then I was oh my god, black. You can literally <laughs> die from it. Like, I like know. Papa Shango I know. put a spell on you. Exactly. Yeah. 
Oh my god! I had like a I had a wow. stomach ache, and I went to the doctor for a couple, you know, maybe a couple days. Maybe a week the doctor so. came in. Hey, man, you know what's gonna make you feel better? This Jimmy Hart figure, man. No. no. <laughs> oh. Well, he has got no. a great story about the Jimmy Hart figure, right? Oh, we'll, oh, we'll, we'll get to that later. We'll, we'll long story for sure short. get into that. Yeah, long story. Maybe I'm messing up the years. Anyway, I got the figures too. Summer '95. Wait, 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 wait. What did that have to do with your append- appendicitis and stuff? Because in my mind, I got them that summer, but maybe it's like <laughs> maybe I'm mixing up the summers of the figures. Well, we were I ten don't, years. Listen, I it's don't. '95. We were ten years old, man. Well, '95, or we're going into fifth grade or sixth grade. Going into fifth grade. You know what? Maybe my appendix burst the next year. (laughs) Well, it must have been series two or something. You just blessed us with that story for no reason. Thank you. Hey, I don't know. Uh, Anyway. Well, you had uh, had some wrestling toy waiting for you after, right? Yes. So I I got them all. Um, I instantly loved them. I thought they were cool because I was an LJN kid. Yeah. Even though we're the same age, I was introduced to the LJN. So I absolutely loved the idea that these were like the big rubber guys, except they're a little smaller. So, Not an inch, I mean, inch off of an LJN, yes. Here's Big Terry, LJN. Here's Big Terry, WCW, San Francisco toy maker. I mean... But that knee bend on that Terry smaller. LJN, they're exactly. way off. Exactly, Terry. Yeah. Right, right. And, and not a good tan on this hog we'll talk about later. But also, the texture... Is a little weird. These LJNs, you know, you could really squeeze their arms together here. You know what I'm saying? Very rubbery. These are more of like a PVC that doesn't quite bend as much, you know. A little bit, of course. You get the feet together and stuff like that. It's just a different material. And if you're playing with them, it's Scuff City. It's you know what I'm saying? the most scuffed toy I ever had in my entire life, childhood, adulthood, anything. It's it's like... So um, one tackle... I mean, you, you got to clean them off. It looks like it got attacked by a thing, a, a pack of Crayolas, man, when you're right. done having a match. Right. Like, it's yeah. just wild. So, Mark, these came out your senior year of college. What, what, your yep. main yeah. thoughts? Yeah. I, well, so my deal is uh, in the early 90s, I was, and I didn't even realize this at the time, I was probably pretty annoying, but I was furiously against WCW. What? I, I yeah. It, it wasn't until the Hogan turn and then NWO probably. You know, in 97 when I started to watch WCW and it became my favorite. So when I saw these in stores, um, I first of all, my fig fed at the time was still Hasbro's and Galoops. I was still rocking and rolling. Way off in scale. I had no interest in these uh, until years later, obviously. Oh, wow. So I, I wasn't quite watching this era of WCW. Of course, I watched, you know, Bash of the Beach, Hogan's debut against Flair. That's, that's what kid, I, I, I mean, let's just say that. That's what even made this a possibility was the Hulkster oh coming God, over. Of you know what I mean? It's all like about we said Big Terry. A four-year drought of uh, no pro, no merch like this, you know, and then I got a toy line finally. That, that's all I would have to say thanks to Big Terry. I mean, th- th- this lineup was cool too because it was a mixture of top guys, mid-carters, tag teams, uh, managers. So it was a cool introduction for your fig fed. You know, I, I have know, a, a good amount of guys. I have a theory about that, and it comes from uh, the toys that made us. You know, that introduced a lot of us figure fans to Jewish Lightning, Robbie Kanoff, rest in peace. You know, this episode is dedicated RIP, to him. He's, he's the mastermind behind a lot of this stuff. And I think, and this is this is me shooting the shit off the record here. I think a lot of the lineup decisions had a had come from who he was hanging out with and who he was, you know, at the hotel bar. <laughs> I don't know about that. I, dude, I have a theory, and after talking to him, Brian Knobs is good, was good friends with Jewish Lightning. The Nasty Boys have, like, Net. four releases of this set. I think, like... Aha! Uh-huh. Yeah, that's, 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 hey, that's how wrestling works, right? The bars and the cars, but, man. That's that's that's, that's where things right. get done. But, and I, that's just the way I feel about it. Also, but the Harlem Heat also had a lot of repaints as well. But what's okay. interesting about this set, I don't know if you noticed this as a kid. Um, Kevin Sullivan and Jimmy Hart do not ship with the initial wave. They're later. I never so they're, put they're, that together as a kid. But also, let's box. let's be honest. If you're a kid, those are the last two in your list that you want anyway. Right. right? So, I mean, let's, let's take a look at this packaging here. Uh, this Hulk Hogan. It, the packaging is great. I think it's one that doesn't get enough credit. I do. Look, yep. I'll, I'll say underrated for sure. Toyetic. And standing, it pops. Standing in the ring, individual artwork of each you know, superstar, but it's not artwork. It's a picture of them. The WCW on top. Collectible wrestlers. Realistic detailing. Awesome wrestling stance. And I will say this before we went on air, 
Brian and I were talking about how these figures, they actually can stand up. Now, of course, you're going to say, mine doesn't. Nine times out of ten, they do. As opposed to an LJN, nine times out of ten, they don't. Hmm. So these yes, are great I, these stand way display. better than LJNs. You like, and I think you nailed it on the head. Nine out of ten. I was messing around with the ones I have here, and that's about my ratio, you know. So the back, you know, shows Hulk Hogan, Sting, Ric Flair, Vader, Johnny B. Bad, Kevin Sullivan, Jimmy Hart, the Nasty Boys, Harlem Heat, Hogan, and Sting. What's interesting though, Nasty Boys are released solo, and in a two pack. Harlem Heat are not released individually. Yes, hmm. but later on they are. Right, but not in series one. Not in series one. Can I, let's right. let's take a step back and talk about original San Francisco toy makers. You know, a I was company just say that. a company derived from Galoob, right? Who did the right. original WCW figures in nineteen ninety. Mm-hmm. Um yep. wh- why do you think they made these LJNs, you know, inspired figures? So in ninety five. So, so when we've strange. lived off the success of Hazards after, you know, four or five years, I feel like it was a real step backwards. But I'm thinking because the guys were involved, I think they combined like the success they had without with the Gloobs and just made them a little bigger. I think that's where their minds were. If I, had I think they do, and obviously these are cheaper to make than Hasbro's with the action, all the points of articulation. Honestly, yeah, no. if it's a startup toy company for sure, that might be a right. big, big part of it. And I, and I was LJ telling you, were Bri- huge, hugely popular. Because Brian, you didn't play with the LJs, but you knew about them through. Oh yeah, you know, I, mean, sales, I, I, brother, I like, think. Right. Even 80s kids that liked wrestling for, you know, a year and a half know we all about LJNs and the rock sure. and wrestling era. You know what I mean? The ones that didn't, their fandom didn't continue. You know, it was just a moment in time. I I think that uh, the, the decision to make these figures had to do with um, the speed at which they needed to get the product on the shelves. Probably. And if you watch yep. Toys That Made Us, and I, I mentioned this to Brian before we started recording, um, the stories that they're telling, they go from Galoob, they start their own company, but at the entire time they're making fun of uh, LJNs as being dog toys. Dog toys, that's, yeah. That's a big yeah. theme of this. And then they go, and literally these guys make the same dog toys. <laughs> to be fair, right? These are, and Matt said it earlier. These aren't as soft as an LJN. Like actually, not even close. Like yeah, a dog. Yes. I don't think a dog would enjoy chewing on this. Well, a dog would scuff it up. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, but but in Toys That Made Us, they skip over this entire line and go straight to the articulated uh, the vib- versions of these the that, with, right. that vibrate and all that stuff. Like well, this it, never it, existed. It, because it would like screw up their whole narrative of making more yeah. dog toys. Right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. And, right. and not for nothing, this was like a little the jump start of what was to become because then you get the NWO and like WWE merch goes through the roof. I don't think... These toys were really breaking any records in sales, or anything, you know what I mean? No, but a, yeah. I think when you look, you look back in hindsight, it's twenty twenty, of course. But I think when you compare these figures with the vibrators, with the San Francisco toy makers, with the action, I think these hold up oh. most well. That's why we're doing the episode on these and not the no, other ones. Yes. No comparison, in my opinion. Exactly. No right. comparison. I, I let's say this right off the gate: as a kid playing with these. I was very careful because of the scuff situation, and it was borderline um, annoying, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> like a 10-year-old a who, like, appreciated his toys and didn't want them to get right. messed up. But as an adult collector, these things hold up. Like, all mine I got in 2017. I opened them all. These are all, like, not. there's not a scuff on any one of mine, and they're they're beautiful. They're cool. They're toyetic. Like right. you said, they stand. And I think they look great. The likeness is awesome. I think that's colors. Where, that's where their legacy will will stand. Is like you know, with the adult collector. You know, I don't. Right. So if I gave this to a five year old right now, I don't think they'd have the oh, best destroyed. Time. Yeah. <laughs> so this too. is my third time in my collecting career having these. So of Come course on. I had them. Come I on. So I had them. I had them when I was you know a kid. Mm-hmm. Um, and we'll talk about it later. I didn't really get into anything past series one because like, I was like, these suck. Whoa. <laughs> you know? Appendix so, burst. Get them all. Yeah. <laughs> play well, with them. The, the appendix might have been the year before now that I think about it. Anyway. Uh, man, um, thanks. Thanks. So I had nugget, all those. Nugget of information. Yeah. Totally scuffed up. Totally scuffed up. Uh, didn't get rid of them. I had them. I kept them in a, a, a toy box until actually, Brian, when I met you, what was that? 2003. I started rebuying a lot of my collection in mint condition. So mm-hmm. I sold my beat up ones, got brand new ones. And we've talked about this before. You don't seem to remember it. I bought all the weird, uh, like repaints from you. 
no, Whoa. Re- no recollection. Yeah. Of that. Whoa. So you had them. Oh, so, so then I had the whole. I had everything. Every like weird in nasty. Two thousand nine. No, this I bought them from you in like two thousand three, two thousand four. There's no way. And I then mean, I, I, yes, yes, and then I sell them in two thousand nine. I'm telling you, it was in your house. In your I house, have sold bro. Them. You did. Did I have extra? Was it a brother you. deal? Was it like five bucks a fit? Maybe, 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 you, maybe, you did, maybe you didn't want the weird colors. Yeah, but in my mind, until 2009 when I tapped out, I was like a completist of everything ever. It, also, Man, I was going to say, I of these figures, I had every single one ever. Every variant, every right. everything. Except, we'll get into it, the Series 1 blue flare, which I didn't even know existed until only a couple of years ago. Still don't right, know. So then, in the Great Purge of 09, I sold them all. And then it wasn't until I moved to Florida. I guess it's early 2017. I'm listening to What Happened When with Conrad and Tony Giovanni. And it's bringing this nostalgic feeling for this era of WCW back where I'm watching Nitro, you know, the Mall of America Nitro, all those Nitros on the network. And I rebuy these figures. Now, granted, I'm not buying all the weird variants, but these figures hold up. Everyone's unique. They look great. And even now, I think if these came out now, People would be impressed. I mean, it's not far off from like a Jazzwares LJN. I was literally going to say that. I think they're better. Literally not. I think they're better. Yeah. Really? I do. I mean, to me, I was going to say these are closer to the Jazzwares AEW um, LJNs inspired figures than they are the LJNs. Certainly the Jax classic LJNs. These are almost identical. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I I, I wanted to touch upon this little pamphlet. That I got. Uh, I don't know if this was given to, you know, whether it be uh, big toy stores, little toy stores, but it has the 1994 on the back. So what's interesting here, it shows, you know, all of Series 1 in here. And there's, of course, prototypes always have a little, a little, you know, something somewhat different from the oh, mass yeah. produced figure. Like, for instance, you look at your Hogan figure, it says Hulk. This one says Hogan on the... Uh, so Hogan, the, the Hogan, bandana. Hogan? Hogan, double Hogan, Hogan, so Hogan. I was saying instead of Hulk, huh. Hogan, it's Hogan, Hogan. Right, right. Also here, it has Sting in yellow, well, which this thing, that does not come out at all. Quite a few repaints, though. Yeah. So we'll we'll get into the figures as we go uh, one at a time. But but back to the packaging here. I mean, I, I I love the packaging. I love that it shows everybody on the back. I love that it has the little bio in the back. So old school, right? Yeah. The ring, of course. Oh, we got to get the ring. We'll talk about the ring in a second. It's probably the worst ring ever. <laughs> um, ring. The ring's yeah. about to get roasted. But, you know, also available stretch wrestlers, wrestling pals. We'll talk about that. Doesn't come out. But I, I love the, the, the artwork on this. I love it all. Um, and I, I had to get this just for this episode because I needed to have a, a min on card figure in my hand. It has a four ninety four price tag. It's a nineteen ninety five four ninety four. That's about what I Man. recall. Yeah, not bad at all. Those were the days. You get a five spot from grandma, and you can go get an <laughs> yes. action figure. Yeah, this is the that, best. Need that seventeen cents tax though, man. Uh, yeah, I guess. All right. So, what do you want to get into series one? I think I think we gotta get into series one right Let's now. Do Who do we start with, baby? I'm looking right at the guy that I think we're we just gave credit to the whole line. Star yeah. of Thunder in Paradise comes over to WCW. Yes. Hulk Hogan with the belt, by the way. What a Love perk. Love the belt. What a perk. You get the, the belt. The belt has no real molding on it. It's just printed, but it works to get more detail. It's fine. Mm. It's not it's not gonna change the world, but it's a nice hey, little added. Hey. You know what? What a, a weird trivia fact. What? You look at this belt. You're like, this belt sucks. At this time, the most detailed figure belt made. Mm. Uh, that's true. Yeah, I mean, you know, what very, I'm saying? very true. Wow. Um, so, let's. So bring now up this something. is your belt. This is your belt and all your figures. Something pants. I'm staring <laughs> at right here that needs to be said for any true WCW Toy Makers fan. The carding would stick to the butt. So I'm staring at the little marks on Hulk's butt. Even ah, the old Bendy. That. Yeah, same Looks as like the number two. Toy Bendy. Looks yeah. like you took a dookie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just like unavoidable. Here's Sting's butt. I mean, like it's unavoidable. Even, you know, these are, I opened all these and they've certainly never been played with. Not a, not the biggest deal, but always, I would always, even when I opened these five years ago, I opened them all and then I'm scratching their butts to try to get the, as much the off of that as a I can. A scratch and sniff. Yeah. Um, 
I, I love the Hogan. I love the the rips in the shirt. It's cool. It's the the four slices on the back, yeah. the the wristbands, the knee pads, the boots. Great pose doing like a double bot. It's very similar pose to his LJN. Very similar. But he does mm. but really a good job of representing like an older Hogan though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I wish it's like it was a leaner a face. Leaner leaner, yeah. bo- leaner, leaner face. body. Yeah. I wish I, he was a little great, tanner. Great um scale on all these, by the way. Everybody. Yes. Yes. I mean, it, to me, this is an iconic figure. They re-release it a bunch of times. I wish when they re-release it, they would have given it a fresh coat of paint, literally. Like maybe Tanner or put the the Hogan on the bandana. But yeah. they just can't or, be choosing. Or like a red bandana and a yellow tank Something. or whatever. I mean, and it's not to say like, you know, they were also, trying to be accurate because it's all fantasy gear later on. True. <laughs> I'm staring at this now. Do they add just a random red strip on here to, to so there's you can differentiate that it's not like a singlet? I'm not taking off the belt, so you you show me, pal. <laughs> What? I don't remember that at all. I don't remember it either. Maybe that's his uh, weight belt? No, I think that's literally just so... Because it would look like he's wearing a onesie, like a Taz singlet, if he didn't have that. I see. Huh. They just made up red trim. Put that belt back on, pal. That's why you keep the belt on. That's why you really got to keep that belt on, folks. When you're an adult collector, you're just playing this bad boy. That makes Uh, no sense. Terrible. (laughs) Terrible. Uh, so all right. according Let's... to this pamphlet here, the ultimate competitors from World Championship Wrestling, the biggest names, the strongest, and most popular wrestlers in the game, the biggest collectible figures of WCW superstars, scale between six and seven inches tall. Um, all right, who do you want to do next? Let's go to the one guy that Mark actually has in his collection. Woo! Rick Flair, one of my favorites in this set. Um, I don't have that one, Brian. I have the woo. I the blue own, variant. I own both now, so and mine's been on card, by the way. Woo! It's just Woo! in storage, and um, I won't I won't see it for six months. So what? So Brian's holding a royal blue one, right? No, That's, no. it's purple. It's purple. Mine is, okay, okay, you're colorblind, Mark. Dark. I'm, I'm terrible. This flare, the real, the flare that ever, most people had growing up. I mean, okay. 99 of us who had this line. It's a dark purple trunks, dark purple knee pads, and light light purple. Boots with one RF, by the way. What's that one got? One RF. Yep, on the boot. <laughs> Which is ridiculous, kind of right? So Broski um, is holding the very rare variant, is what you're saying. We yes. believe that that was the first one, and it was like a running. Change. I ha- this this is the one I had as a kid. Wow, huh. cool. I had this. So, so let me. So um, that one is is like a baby blue. You would call it like a baby, baby, like a blue. sky blue, baby sky blue. blue. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, All according right. to this pamphlet thing that I have. It's supposed to be blue. So don't yeah. know why they changed it. Maybe so they I thought, hey, really, this looks too much like the Galoob. I think that proves the theory, though, that that came first and there was a very quick oh, this This game. 100% came first. Yeah. Um, I love this figure. It's great. Uh, man, these figures are so good. Yeah, you this know, pose. Like, okay, maybe. Ridiculous, but I love it. You yeah. can kind of do the slap. You can kind of do yeah, like yeah, a chop. I would, I would kind of throw like Woo! low chops yeah, at them. Yeah. 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 Great figure, great likeness. It's, a, it's a shorter than Hogan. If I'm, if I'm going to really be nitpicky, I would have liked some knee exposed there, so you know they're pulled down a little bit, real nature style. Well, I think if you look carefully, it's kind. It is kind of pulled yeah, down. It's a little, a little bit. lower because it touches the belt. It's I a mean, little the, the almost there. It's close, but a little more. I'm asking for. I I I love this figure. I think it's great. Uh, the Nature Boy, um, beautiful figure. Let's yeah. m- move on. It's another face of the franchise. It's showtime, folks. The, the Stinger. man called Sting. Uh, this was cool to get, man. Very toyetic, very, very look pretty. At, look at Sting's butt. has got some toilet paper on his butt. Yeah, how about yeah, Sting's got some toilet yours. paper. Yeah, got some toilet paper. Butt, butt scuff. Thick, man, this is muscular. Phenomenal, yeah, great figure. Not Probably the one thing we could say about all these that could be a little more tan. A little more tan. A little more tan on the Stinger, but tan. he looks awesome. He's got, he's got the Stinger boots with the uh, the straps, you know, yeah, so there's all attention accurate. to detail on these. Yeah, all accurate. Mm-hmm. The scorpion, scorpion on, on the it. side. Yep. And you were saying this is the one that could have been all yellow pants? According to this pamphlet, it was supposed to be an all yellow. Interesting. So does not come out that way. 
but yeah. uh, we're supposed to be. There's even a min on card sample of it. Uh, is there a prototype out there? Who's to say? Who knows? I, I mean, there's got to be. Wow, I didn't know it got to that point. Hmm. Well, I mean, I mean, these are all. It looks like an. Yeah, these are all studio shots. You know, these are all real. Right. There's no Photoshop back then. I mean, those are know? probably hand painted and. Right, but you know, even the flare is slightly different shade of blue. But you can tell it's supposed to be blue, not purple. Right, but uh, I love this. To me, it was like a great stance when you're doing the the scorpion death lock. Oh, you know? that actually Aha. for sure. Yeah, Good that stance. just brought back some memories. Yeah, that little Good bent stance. knee. You know, he's got yeah. He's got knobs in the scorpion careful. death lock. Oh. Be careful. Don't tap, Terry. Don't tap. Nice. Uh, <laughs> awesome. All right. I think whew, next, his rookie figure, if you think about it. Great pretty figure. Nuts. The man called Vader. Top guy Look at, at the, the time. thickness. He's you could so kill somebody thick, with that. He's so heavy. Uh, the the King Kong Bundy of the original figure. San Francisco Toy Makers. Just a perfect yeah. figure, man. The mask, um, the bald head. He's so thick. Um, he's got like the little arms, little jacked arms, the gloves, I mean, it's, the mask. It's a great See, likeness. The, like the roll of fat in the back of his neck. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, look at that. I'm a big fat piece of shit. Oh, man. <laughs> Just freaking awesome. Jesus. Low boots. Freaking awesome. That's great. That This this is, and it's his rookie figure. He just yeah. missed out on the Galoob bearer, so it's pretty crazy. And I think if you... Look at all his Vader figures in history. I think this is one of the best ones. Certainly oh, yeah. better than like a Bone Cruncher. It's great. Oh, or a classic I mean, superstar. Can't even count those. They're horrible. And and again, I'll go to my pamphlet. The pamphlet is actually better because the mask is has more detailing in it. You know? <laughs> really? This has like a red area, black area. This is all like red and black, like red traced in black. How I feel you'll like Vader's mask truly was. Oh, okay. But hmm. this still looks great. Is it the, the red beard, the red eyebrows? It's really just something to behold, like... So like a two pound figure, yeah, absolutely. yeah it's unbelievable. So what cool. a, what a great one. Um, one of my personal favorites, and also a rookie that I was very thrilled to get, Johnny B. Bad. I knew it. Look at that hair. I also popped for this. I was like, I had Mackenzie help me take these out for the recording tonight, and I'm like popping. I'm so bad in like the I'm most, so bad on the butt, but like. <laughs> It's in like the most simple text. Like there's there's no way it was like that out of his gear. It's like Times New Roman, <laughs> I'm so bad. Literally, yeah. This, no, it's like a script. It's like a script. But I like this. You know, if he's wrestling the nasty boys, he can do double DDT. Oh you yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah, I dug this. this he he was one of my favorites, man. I had a bunch of WCW like VHSs and he had some awesome matches on the undercard back in the day. I thought he was Oh, oh yeah, great, you know. doing a moves hell- up top rope that nobody was doing on yeah, TV man. at the time. Well, so that's cool. the thing. He, uh, the uh, the top rope sunset flip. You kind of hook the guy's uh, legs with his arms like this. Yeah, I like that. Uh huh. Yeah, if you were creative, and a hell of a tan. Hell and, of a tan oh, on Johnny. No, no, no complaint with that. He's they nailed it with him. Yeah, the friend. He's a bad man. Bad. He's a bad man. Awesome figure. Nice dude. mustache too. Yeah, might I be an all time figure mustache. When you think about the f- mustaches on figures, yeah, until we hell of a mustache. Until we get that updated Dax Harwood, I mean, I think this is it. Right? <laughs> oh my god, that's true. Look at that's this. true. Mine's kind of. He looks like he had a couple uh, PBRs, but <laughs> <laughs> the man, great. All right, let's move on. Uh, the Taskmaster, Kevin Sullivan, another guy getting his first action figure. I always got a kick out of this because he's winking. So it's, this, it's literally this just one, like the picture on the box. Or that, also so has clearly that's what they, also has toilet paper on the back. Mine actually, mine's got a clean tush. Look at that. Um, so it's like again, this, this, like growl. This is not released right away. I have this no recollection out, of that, but maybe I get this for Christmas. I can Him see and Jimmy that don't too. come out right away. Hmm. I could I could see that being true. KS now, initials on his boots. I mean, not the most. At the time on TV, I feel like he's wearing like that red jumpsuit. So I'm like, damn. Yeah. This is- so I, I I don't really remember him just wearing the black. I think it's you know, Trump before. Things. Yeah, I think it's like '94. Mm. Well, obviously. This. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not. I mean, hey, you're going down the toy aisle and you're a kid. Not very like, toyetic. Though. Not a great. The old uh, the old short guy winking at me. I don't know if I want him to come <laughs> home with yeah, me. Yeah, with the, the with the baldness. Yeah, yeah not great. I and mean, I guess he's not really winking. Winking. He's kind of like squint. He's kind of like. Wincing? I it's like this. It's like yeah. you have yeah, to look at if the box is literally the. So, so like, the artist uh, clearly went off that 
that it's like the Popeye. Know, they went off that still photo, you know. Yeah, now, guys, I, I hate to bring it up again, but according to my pamphlet, he's supposed Redsky. to be in red trunks. We've and Jeff seen that, right? Stout, Jeff Stout, we'll put the photos up right now. He has it, and what's weird though, it's not like a hand painted. It's like some sort of like production sample, factory painted. Wow. Mm-hmm. And what's even weirder, it's signed by Kevin Sullivan on the back. Hmm. Man. So what he's another one. I I think that he was a buddy of Robbie Kanoff. And next time I see him, I'm gonna ask him. I'm looking at the picture here of that of the what you're talking about, Broski. And I this one has like a dark beard as well. He's got like blonde hair, but he's got like light light, like yellowish and like yellowish uh yellowish hair. Not so much like a light blonde. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, for sure. I Very think, weird. I think that I think that would have been more toyetic than the plain black, one hundred percent boots and yeah, trunks. I mean, you know, if we're going with the least toyetic in this whole set, it's a hands down Kevin Sullivan win. I mean, this might be Absolutely. least toyetic of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Poor and guy. I love Kevin Sullivan. Does, does <laughs> Stone Cold would like to knock pets. on the door. Yeah, but you can use this Kev, Kevin <laughs> Sullivan your fig fed to be the Booker. Yeah, there you go. He's the one <laughs> calling the shots, man. The Booker Man. Call the shot. He's the Booker Man. Uh, I respect you, Booker Man. <laughs> another fun one, and somebody making their debut in an action figure mold. Yeah, baby, it's the Hulkster, baby. You this gotta have crazy. Jimmy Hart, right? This, the, this, this isn't his debut. Oh my God, is LJN? Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. LJN, Jeez, dude. Sorry, Jimmy. I'm, I'm thinking well, got snubbed in the Hasbro's with no figures you're talking Imagine. toyetic as hell on this this figure rules bro unbelievable and if you put it next to your hogan it's in scale he's shorter oh he's Great. perfect he's incredible perfect. scale and i and i was having a flashback when i was getting these out i mean we'll get into it but with the giant who he was his manager it looks awesome and i remember playing with them where he'd come out with them and you know the you know the size difference was just epic but all right so you knew i was gonna tell this story it's christmas it. 1995 <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking the only thing I want for Christmas, my number one item is the Hasbro one, two, three kid. Well, hold on. As you're telling this story, did, yeah. did your appendix, was your appendix yeah, burst what's already? The state before of your, this Christmas? What's the state of your appendix during <laughs> Christmas? My appendix, 95. Yeah. my appendix had already burst. So maybe about burst in 94. I don't quite remember. Thank, anyway, well, well, if it burst in the summer that. of 95, that's when you got the rest of the set. Right. So either then way, if get, it burst in 94, 95, this comes later. This is Christmas. Okay. Time. Right, well, All right, okay. Good thing. So I see a figure. I should have known the San Francisco toy maker box is bigger than Hasbro box. But you're a kid. You're, a kid. you're excitable. You don't I'm know. Excited. Your mind's I racing. I can tell by the bubble. It's a it's a figure. I wasn't collecting other figures at the time. I know this has got to be the one two three kid. I saved the best for last. I open everything else. Great Christmas. I open it up. It's this fucking Jimmy Hart. And I <laughs> last figure last present but of the day is the Jimmy Hart. <laughs> Did he go on Fucking to manage deficit. your Hulk Hogan into the title picture, or you know? No, because I wasn't even like playing with these figures because they sucked with the scuff. Stiff, stiff. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, when you look into my famous pamphlet, uh, it has Hogan down the uh, the the front, not Hulk. Well, so he has Hogan down his sides of both his pants, and more stars, and more can, stars, and can, they're can, smaller. Well, guys, can we talk about? This Jimmy Hart. You oh, have it? You, talk about, you, had it. You, you talk about a tan, yeah. brother. This Jimmy Hart was spending his, the whole summer, the whole year at Hogan's Beach Shop, baby. <sighs> what, hey, baby. So do we know what hey, happened with this? Shop, the, the what, rumor, what's the deal with this? The rumor yes. is, allegedly, yeah. <laughs> the designer of the toy saw the Jimmy Hart photo and his tan was so epic that he thought he was an African-American person. <laughs> And that's the shoot. And then, then that came out, and they quickly went, whoa, like basically whoa. the guys, same the but, same as that flare, but, but you know, guys, the blue flare. They went, oh, God, fixed. and fixed it. But that's not that's not the th- that's not the only difference. Look, this one does say Hogan oh, on wow. the jacket. When did you right? get that? I don't remember you getting that. A couple of years ago. Also, the sunglasses, different color. So They're this white, one, huh? this one, besides the skin tone, matches the pamphlet deco of the design much much mm. better so God. was this first and they did they quickly realize oh my god wrong race yeah yeah uh, yeah no, no i'm gotta I'm be pretty right. sure of it yeah um, it. pretty pretty but, pretty epic uh wrestling but it's figure. A very very rare figure legendary tail i guess yes and that uh, figure and it's so different i think you need it that figure is oh, you have to have it would, would yeah. you say that figure is hands down the priciest toy maker there is 
of WCW? Maybe not the flair? No, I think mm. that Jimmy goes for more. It's more sought after. It's more, more, it's the man more, greater than like a, rarity. It's legendary. You know, people know about like what the heck happened. Uh, so I got this loose. Uh, it's in pretty damn good shape. Not 10 out of 10 mint. I was like a nine ish, but uh, it's unbelievable. It's just, it, How about- it, you have to hold it in your hand. <laughs> So we really should really we should take this time to bury David Penzer here. When we first got the impact, he was telling us oh. he knew <laughs> he had that mint on card as a gift from Jimmy Hart. So it says like to David, Jimmy Hart signed mint on card, right? Mm-hmm. So he's like annoying the hell out of us because he wants to sell it. And I think we put it in the group and put feelers out there and we finally connected to somebody who bought it. Then this idiot has the audacity to mail it in a bubble mailer. A bubble mailer. Uh, Bubble Mailer. My God. Who did it go to? I can't remember. And then that person complained to us, and I'm like, dude, I can't control how stupid that of a move that was. But Oh, I, my God. I know. This irre- <laughs> ir- literally irreplaceable figure. And, and, so, and, and he knew that it went for a ton of money because he got yes, the money. Yes, because he got the money. Yeah, yes. he knew it wasn't like <laughs> well, Pence, two bucks. Pence is, a cheap, Pence is the guy who walks around the hotel bar to impact... Begging someone to buy him a drink <laughs> after he made a drink in his room that he's been like a baby in so like, he doesn't finish it. I'm seeing Penzer. He's at the post office. It's like, well, it's eight bucks to put it in the box, but it's six fifty to send in this bubble. Mail. Okay, six fifty. That's that's the decision yeah, that went yeah. into that. Yeah, hundred percent. Sure. Mm, my God. Yeah. Right. All right, and then uh, right. well, we got to do the nasty boys. Next. Yes, we got to do Brian Nobbs, Jerry Sags. Uh, who you got for us, Nobbs? Sure. It always drove me nuts as a kid that Nobbs' tattoo is basically sideways. Well, also... Makes no sense. The first the first run did not have tattoos, so it's better than nothing. I guess that's true, but... The first run had no tattoos. <laughs> if, if he put his arm down, it would be like the way mine is. Ver- like right, vertical. Right. It doesn't make any... Or horizontal. It makes no sense. Hmm. I think it's a great figure. It's got the chains around the boots. got the uh, Dude, I, elbow pads, the nasty shirt. I loved Glasses. these figures when I was a kid, yeah. Oh, and and SAG also pamphlet. says SAG, which I don't know if that's accurate, too. Huh. <laughs> just, just to, his, to, the, to the real life tattoo, I'm just trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, he's got that the missing tooth. Which I love that, dude, that Nobs has glasses, SAGs doesn't. I do love that. Also, like, missing tooth, black out the rest of his mouth. That makes no sense. Anybody? I see. <laughs> <laughs> I see <where> he's... <laughs> makes, couldn't make less sense. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks like he just has a rotted tooth. Yeah, it just like a raisin <laughs> stuck in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they tried. Pretty cool. But that that is a signature thing. If he didn't have it, it wouldn't even really look like him, right? Yeah. But yeah, awesome I, figures. I love it. I think, I think they're both great. Two, um, two great, like very playable poses, too. Right. Just, yeah. just they can do whatever. A bunch of different moves, bulldogs, yeah, clotheslines, whatever. Pit, pit stop, baby. Yeah. Pity city, baby. <laughs> Pity city. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, you look at this pamphlet I have. All the figures are slightly more detailed. Uh, I, but that's how all toys are, really. Where the the pre production prototype is always a little slightly more detailed. Oh, yeah, kind of dumb it down a little bit for mass retail. Yeah. But I thought it was weird the nasties come out by themselves. They also come out in a tag team. Um, but two guys that don't come single but come as a tag team. Can you dig it, sucker? Harlem Heat. Uh, when these figures came out, not that they weren't over or didn't deserve figures, but to me, I was like, "Whoa, how would they get these figures out so fast?" Really? Like, no, they based been on there like enough. Yeah, but yeah, I thought they were in the early nineties, right? Mm, yeah, 90. but like, I guess. They're in the they're in the freaking thing when Shockmaster goes through the wall. So that's yeah, I guess. Yeah, they're there for uh-huh. years. Incredible figures. Um, I, it really looks like Booker and Stevie. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I think I'm the likeness it. rules. Oh, yeah. yeah, I always loved them. I never understood why um, Booker was like. I mean, I guess he is a little smaller, but they, it's drastic, right? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Still yeah. cool. I loved having them, and then my guess. For why the Nasties had single card releases because they're banking off their WWE WWF fame, you know, where maybe, these guys are maybe. these are their rookie figures and you know relatively unknown at the time. Mm-hmm. Just, or I they were friends with it. Jewish Lightning. Or they were friends with Jewish Lightning, which I'm it's pretty possible. sure too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, the the Booker looks incredible. Even he's got the earring. Totally looks like Booker. Um, I just think these figures are incredible. They're they're so great. 
And you had these as a kid, Brian? You had the Halloween? I had every single one, every repaint, everything, because I was a lunatic. Now, but even in your, as an original kid, like, I did not have the two-pack, that's Hogan, which is a re-release, and Sting in, like, a neon green. I did not have that from Series 1. Um, that, so that one I didn't know existed, I want to say. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I'm looking at that right now. Tag Team Wrestlers, and it's yeah. Sting and uh, Hogan. Yeah, dude. The okay. only difference is Sting's got different pants. Yes. And 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 face paint. Yes. Um but pretty cool. Oh. I mean, uh, you wonder why there isn't any difference in in the Hogan maybe, that, but Yeah, like we were talking about earlier, that Hogan There's plenty of times these figures are re-released that, that there's no changes. It doesn't make any sense, you Right. Know? Right. Yeah. A lot of times actually. Uh, so- also in this pamphlet, I'll talk about it real quick. It shows the stretch wrestlers which never come out. It's it's Hogan, Sting, Vader, and Flair. And it's like they're like going to the beach. They're wearing WCW tank tops, uh, shorts. Like, thank God they didn't come out. No boot. These would have been horrible. It could have been a I mean, Thunder in Paradise edition, man. The actual head sculpts look pretty good. Uh, I'll give it that. And then the back here shows the, the pillow pals, the wrestling buddies, with Hogan, uh, Flair, Sting, and Vader, these do not look the best. I'll, I'll say that. <laughs> These do not, do not look do not the best. best. Got it. They do not look the best. I would have uh, loved to have uh, gotten them, but they look kind of scary, actually. They don't look cute don't like know. the Tonka wrestling buddies. Um, are we going to talk about the ring? Got to talk about the ring. All right, yes. Because uh, coinciding with Series 1 is the release of the ring. Let, let's go to the, the few positives. I as In a, the box... <laughs> I loved the steps that they were removable. And then yes. I enjoyed having the, the sound module in the sense that I could ring the bell. Yes. Things like that. You're out. Angry crowd sounds. Crowd cheering and the bell ringing. Yes. Bell ringing is pretty great as a kid in the 90s. Oh, it's awesome. Yes. Yeah. And I think that's about where my compliments will end. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it comes, you know, as you see on the back, it has like a red steel cage which okay that's make that's sense. a perk that's a bonus the steel cage is a bonus yeah. sure let's add that too sure um three colorful elastic ropes more like three colorful girl hair ties dude uh that's a compliment so these figures we talked about they're some of the heaviest Bro, of all look time at this. look at this thing this thing is horrible and these, these ropes are the weakest in wrestling history. <laughs> it's like ba- it's like bad rubber bands i'm talking if, if vader falls in the ropes or hogan or anybody it's going straight oh, down like it, the, no they can't hold them up at all there's nothing you can no do way. going down really got to use your imagination it just was very and, unfortunate and and, and and the ring is like not even six inches off the ground <laughs> I don't know. that one you know what i'm saying to this day okay the ropes thing it's like okay damn we messed that up but you're constructing a ring. You, you're around wrestling rings. It, you're figuring this out. You know what they're supposed to look like. That makes well, that's almost like a, a octagon's level height up. Like it's, the, it's, it's a it's a pony boy, guys. You got to fit not, in the not, uh, Elks Lodge. That you know wouldn't even be a pony boy, dude. That's <laughs> and, way and too small. And everything is such like a delicate plastic, especially these ring posts and the figures are so heavy. Posts break so easily. You shoot I want to say when buckle? I was when I was a kid, no? I broke a buckle and I had to get a new one of those rings. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Um, they they reuse this ring for every incarnation of the <coughs> WCW San Francisco toy makers. Every scale, Crazy. everything, even <coughs> ECW. So even okay. ECW so even e- ECW, they reuse them. The ropes are sturdy and real ropes. It's the same ring, and even that ring, and the figures are half the size. It's still off scale. Mm-hmm. Right. So this is ridiculous. And I talk about Scuff City with your figures. Oh my God! You can't even stand. You can't even stand your figures in this <laughs> ring because they'll <laughs> stick and scuff up the ring. I mean, this was a brand new ring. And just for my figures being on display, there's scuffs all over it. Yeah, I don't even own that anymore. Like, I just let it go. I don't. You even got have, rid of it. I you never let it go. Like in '09, and I never rebought it or nothing because it's just so. Oh, huh. you gotta get. You gotta. Nah, it's just like. Are you gonna have these on display when you put your room back together? I've had them on display for five years now. Oh, you gotta get the ring. Sorry, pal. You gotta get the you ring. You gotta get it. I know. You gotta. Put, it's gotta be part it's, of your. We, we just buried it for ten minutes. Yeah, here. but that's now right. you're not playing with it. Now you just, just got to have it. I'll think about it. All you right. got to get it. You got to get it. But Series 1, it's a, you know, it's it stands the test of time. I love Top it. Top guys, mid-carders, uh, bookers, managers. Tag two I mean, tag teams set. you get to play. Like, that's pretty fun. Yeah. You know? So does the ring, come, the ring comes with no figure, and it also comes with Sting and Flair? Yes. 
There's and another the version of Sing and Flare I never had as a kid. I don't know where that was available. It's the same figures though, so it's just like same, yeah, for fun. Right. All right, okay. let's do series one. Your favorite figure in that set? Woo, Ric Flair, oh, baby! Come on, what a, what a shill! I uh, man, yeah. I'm having a tough choice here between Vader and Johnny B. Bad. I, I'm going Hogan. I mean, it's it, without Hogan, there wouldn't have been this toy line. Uh, I'm going with Big Terry. It's an incredible figure. Uh, you know, he saved WCW. If he doesn't go to WCW. Do we, I mean, I think it changes history. I agree. Mm. There's no NWO. There's no Attitude Era. He, I don't think he gets enough credit for just making that jump. And it wasn't even a jump because he doesn't leave WWF to go to WCW. He leaves to go do like Thunder of Paradise. Yeah. And Easy E convinces them to come on board. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with the man and they call Vader just because this thing is epic. The girth, the size, just awesome. All right. So you want to go to Series 2? It's time for Series 2. Hey, broski. I thought you said this was a party. It is. Major PBR forever. All right, guys. Series two is the debut of, ooh, yeah, the Macho Man Randy Savage, another Hulk yeah. Hogan, Jimmy Hart in a repaint, as well as a repackaged version, Ric Flair in green, as well as a repackaged version of him in the purple, Sting in pink, Sting in green, Sting repackaged from series one, Vader repackaged from series one, Johnny B. Bad repaint, a Kevin Sullivan repaint, as well as... Some more new two packs. Let's get into it, boys. I was I'm, as a fan, as a collector, I'm out. I'm out. So, I mean, I might be the only one to be able to comment on this. Series two was like very difficult to find, and I think that's I why you were recall. probably out. It wasn't just like Maybe. peg warming. And even to this day, if you want to go back, and I'm sure people are going to watch this and get sentimental and try to collect these things, the series two guys are just not like plentiful because i think my ring was just scuffed up maybe broken my figures were all scuffed up it was like ugh, no i'm telling you like, the distribution was an issue no i know but i think i think i was out and like i didn't have macho man as a kid and macho mm. man is like my favorite right I just think I was that's, out. that's a little strange yes for you anyway so and, i and some of these some of these re-releases i'm not quite sure if they're re-releases or throughout history, they've just been errors reported as re-releases. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. These are like images of the guy on the card, and it says Series 2. I mean, it's pretty... Yep. Well, well, what I'm saying is I'm just not sure if it's like an error. I'm sure some are re-releases. Like a Hogan, I'm sure it's a re-release. I see what you're saying, yes. But there's there's so right. many that it's like... I don't know. Well, that's what I'm saying. There's so many where it's like, how many... What the hell? Well, I had to have... Macho Man Series 2, and this is a real Series 2 Macho Man, not a Series 3. So, like, a lot of people... Series 3, when we get into it, Series 3 was, like, at KB for years on the discount rack and stuff. Yes, For whatever reason, Series 2 was just a ghost. So, when I went Hmm. back and recollected these, I was like, I want the rare Macho that no one else is going to have. Me too. And if you get the eye for it, you can see it, you know, in my collection. So, I made sure to have it. What uh, what is uh, the difference? It's just different colors just the, the colors are the little, color scheme is a little different little, yeah same colors just different. i'm pattern. looking at the three right now way okay, more yeah. yellow on a series yep. two macho yeah oh yeah that's the one you want awesome it's figure like a slim, it's like a slim jim macho it's baby. a slim yep. jim macho the cowboy hat awesome figure for right now posed in my adult yes. collection when i'm 10 11 i get this i'm like come on man his hand Bro, is on his, his fucking hand on his hip, hip. Hand is on his own. He at least can do the elbow. You, you get a little tackle. You do the, el- you do the elbow. <laughs> tackle with the elbow. Call it a day. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, love the tassels. The gear is incredible. I will say this. Everything is like molded. You know, it's yes, not just you feel painted, every right? little like wrinkle in the, the divots of the, you know, the pattern on his gear. 
The thing you guys keep saying about as, as these holding up as an adult collector, when you're not playing with them in a crappy ring and scuffing right. them up, they're like statues they're beautiful. of this that's slice why, of that's pie. Why I think they it's stand the test of time. Yeah. 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 But they very totally excited to have Macho. Um, we can keep going through this. Uh... Well, the Hogan is just a new box, obviously. Hogan's the same exact figure. Jimmy Hart Hogan. is released apparently the same exact figure. Jimmy Hart also has the flip flop version, basically, was why I always called it, because it's the same figure, but it's red not. They, they literally flipped whatever's yellow on the other one is red, and what's red is yellow. <laughs> that's it. I mean, that's. And mm -hmm. I, I, as a kid, maybe. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe some of these series, too, I just never had as a kid because they were so hard to come by. Hmm. It's possible. They were just there's on so your many, list. There, there's yeah. so many versions of the Stinger. You know, it's like, how many Stings do you need? And they, to me, a lot of them are like fantasy. They're not really like real depictions of Well, I of think a gear. lot of them are fantasy. Right? That's what I'm saying. Anyway, Jimmy Hart, that, those are the versions of Jimmy Hart. Flair, Mark, I'm, I'm hoping you own this green Ric Flair. It's actually yep. very nice. Pops. Yes. Very nice. Like I said, hard to find these figures. Flair, mm -hmm. also... The purple one re-released on this Series 2 carding. Um, Sting, same thing, re-released on this Series 2 carding. But there is a pink version and a green version of them. And like I said, I think this is Fantasy Gear. And now I'm having a flashback, Broski. I never had that two-pack. I had this Sting, which is the same one from two-pack Series 1. So both oh, things are repackaged. Okay. The pink one is the only new one. Aha! There we go. Hmm. Mystery. That makes total solved. sense. Okay. Yeah. Well, the uh, pink but, but, one has like really, uh, the the face paint is like really toyetic and cool. Yeah, who I knows mean, if I'll give in both versions they they've really tried to you know do something to the face paint to make it. It's a definitely more toyetic. It's not like yeah. it's dull by any means. Yeah, they're. I mean, all three of them are great stinks. As a kid, you would you would be happy with either one. Yeah, any I think as an excited, you know. Oh man, yeah. you know what? Wow, I'm having an epiphany right now. I don't know why I didn't What's say that? this from Jump Street. Macho, the only new character in this entire assortment. But also, that's why right here on my desk is only one figure. It's this Macho. Because I only did one of each guy. Say, uh, I have an exception to that. I'll show it in a second. But now knowing what we know about making toys, right? This was a complete make some of our money back set, huh? Oh, 100%. Because yeah. in the tag, there's like two versions of each tag team, right? I guess. I mean, well, let's keep going here. Vader repackaged, same thing. Johnny Be Bad. I had this one, and I actually it's like silverish, it's right? Silver and red. It's completely different. I also don't know if that's real gear. I think that's I in my mind that's a fantasy depiction made up. Well, we know they do fantasy gear. Really nice. The, the we know they do fantasy gear with the ECW. San that's why it's kind of like a signature thing from this company. Right. Uh, right. Kevin Sullivan in like purplish trunks. Which I a little do, more toyetic. A little more toyetic. A little more I toyetic. do recall having that. that. Yep, a little more toyetic. It looks a little tanner in this picture I'm looking at. <laughs> and now we have Sting, Black Tights, Hogan. Same one again. Um, we have the Nasties in orange shirts, the Nasties in green shirts, which I think maybe the orange ones are real, but not the green. Okay. Oh, bro. And, but I, listen, even if the green shirts are are real then there's like the green elbow pads are those real uh, come on I no know. that stuff's like yeah uh fabricated yeah. uh we have harlem heat in like a really dark Purple blue and then okay. this is what i had to have as an adult collector the red harlem heat is this. absolutely these are the ones i display in my collection because when i think of harlem heat in 95 96 i, I picture them in the red like this and actually that's how Mattel made the elites too, so it made me justify in that opinion. So the blacks are cool, and I had the black ones as you know the black tongue trunks when I was a kid. But the red is what I wanted displayed, you know, my thing. And these guys are just sick, so toyetic. I'm, I'm just Pops. nostalgic to the actual toys as that because I had the black ones, uh, the black gear. So I'm nostalgic. To that. I remember me. them wearing that that patented leather black gear. Oh no, I remember wearing both, but in my mind. This is like them the tag team the getting over. More. They're getting over. They're the tag team champions. They both have the the packaging on their butt, of course. But Hulk Hogan. This dude. Great these figures. This two pack. I want to say if if uh, you know Jimmy Hart, you know the the variant is one. Flair in the baby blue is two. These this might be three to come by. Really, I dude. was just thinking about. Oh, maybe I'll scratch that figure tonight. Very hard. I want to say. Really. Hmm. Yes. Um. Uh, 
I'm just realizing something that I'm sorry, guys. The green nasties, their figures ink exclusives. We'll get to that a little bit later in the show. And, and so the not purple, series two. And the purple Harlem Heat. I think they're re-released in, as figures toy company as well. See, this is what I'm talking about. There's so many weird re-releases. It gets it's, confusing, even for the very, major rest of our podcast. I mean, this isn't going to be perfect. We're doing our best here. All right, favorite of series two. Is it just like a landslide macho man for everybody, even though I said it wasn't That's that easy to play with? I, I think... Uh, I mean, nobody's I repaint was like that epic that you're going to take macho man down, right? I just feel like this, that macho man that you're holding up right now, right? You could not be a collector, right? You could have this nice rustic living room. But like you could have that macho as a piece, just like as a knickknack stand-alone. or something, because it's so great. It's a standalone. What a statue! Yeah, it's like a slim Jim macho. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Then, by the way, uh, real quick, Ooh, yeah. did a quick eBay search. As of right now, only one okay, uh, set of Harlem Heat red, loose, scuffed. Oh no! Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Wow. Oh, thousand dollar Broski's not going for that. No, no. But I'm just saying. So they're pretty rare. But a lot of these figures, um, not that much. I mean, you could get. uh, There's a lot here, of like seven mint on card figures for a hundred bucks. Oh yeah. I mean, this is a very affordable collection, except for the handful of you know mystery ones that kind of you know go for a high ticket. I do want to say thank you to Wrestling Universe because when I did pieces together five years ago, they they really helped out with. uh, a lot of them to get me started. Uh, all right, my, let's my move on. Dan- Wait, what, what, one second, though. I'm looking at my handy dandy pamphlet right here, <laughs> and it really even says like, like how is this like incentive to a, a, you know a buyer? Series two features Macho Man, Randy Savage, and redecorated figures under Series two packaging. Like that's it, just Macho Man. Like you got to give us. Uh, and be dude, I mean, bone. I don't know why it didn't hit me till just now. Like this was a clearly, we spent get a lot of down. money to launch this line. We need to do a repaint set to get you know recoup some of that you know cost. And 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 Hogan, we you got to put Hogan in everything. We get it, we get it. Even if they don't repaint him, I still get it because we've learned this now with like the Mattel, like you know the top picks. He's an anchor. Every kid he wants to, you want to walk in as a kid, and you got to buy Hogan. You need yeah. Hogan. He's an anchor. Yeah. So he's an anchor. I get it. I get it for sure. I get it for sure. Hey, right. uh, so also speaking of the of the rare figures. Rick Flair is up there. You said the blue ones. Yes, the blue. There's okay. two of them. Both of them uh, are up there now for a thousand bucks. Mint on card. Mint on card. <clears throat> yeah. Oof. I don't, I didn't look at sold listings, so who um, knows what the last sold one I went sh- for? I but- mean, I, could, I didn't tell this story before, but I can tell it now. Like only a couple of weeks ago, I was at Impact, and um, okay. Robert Evans, the writer, is a toy hunter as well as Broski and I. He doesn't collect wrestling though. He collects pretty much like everything else. And he went out to a spot in Chicago. I can't even remember where it was. And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go. I was like, maybe I'll go with Heath. I was like, yeah. I said, you know what? Take a picture of the wrestling section and just send it to me so I know, like, what it's like. So a couple hours later, he sends it to me. I'm hanging out in the lobby, like, drinking with Heath. And I'm like, I look at my phone and I do, like, a triple take. I zoom in. I see that flare, mint on card, blue flare. I'm like, what? And it says 120 bucks on it. I'm like get me that he goes dude you sure it says 120 bucks i go yo i am certainly (laughs) sure there's no doubt in my mind get that for me please right now and he was like all right he came back with it so pretty unreal like unreal grab yeah wow that's great let's hit all right what's next series three baby Join the community at MajorMarks.com and get access to exclusive content, behind-the-scenes footage, and become a member of the Major family. You get bonus episodes on our careers, wrestling figure history, and exclusive interviews with our friends and legends in the business each month. You also get early access to YouTube videos and, of course, the weekly podcast ad-free and breaking news updates. Brand new shows featuring... Oh, baby. And you... Each month, you can interview someone in the wrestling business with the captain's log. Also, buy, sell, and trade in our exclusive Facebook community where people have become friends in real life. Certain memberships include merch like monthly trading cards and quarterly mystery gifts. Become a Major Mark and join MajorMarks.com today. All right. Series, series three. three. Let's hey, um. We got some new guys. Well, let's, let's get into some personal thoughts about this, you know, you know t- timetable stuff like... 
at this time, like I said, Series 2 is not easy to come by. And I, in my mind, there's a pretty sizable gap, like where there's no product, you know what I mean, for a good mm-hmm. while. Mm-hmm. And then these like come out of nowhere for me. And I'm like, oh my God, this line sure. has continued. And there's four new characters. Like, I couldn't believe it. Right. And, I, and there's I guess, really six new figures. That too. Yeah. If you think about it, the molding wise, for sure. Um, so just, what's the line here, Brian? So, so wait, but Broska, you're out at this point. You don't. This doesn't even excite so you. I, I I remember like my dad gets me like Alex Wright, bro. That's a like Craig Pittman. I loved I like, Alex Wright. Like that was a big. I, I was like, I oh my him, god, like, Alex thanks, Wright. Thanks, Dad. But re- return him. Thanks, thanks anyway. No, man, that's cold yeah, blooded, dude. Like, thanks anyway. Anyway, now looking back, it's awesome, right? Like oh. let's talk about Alex Wright. I mean, first of all, this Das Wonderkind right now. Das Wonderkind is screwed on his tan big time here. He's so, he's pastier than anyone. Pale. Now he is so hard, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. You're hard, Alex <laughs> Wright. Don't don't you feel like these are harder? Like the legs and the arm, you can't I mean, move, move it. It's a statue. It's not a rubber rubber figure. Bro, I mean? but yeah. compared to series one, it's hard. It's even harder. Well, series three is a brand new Hulk Hogan, new mold and everything. When he's kind of in like yeah. the workout gear, I like to call it, or the WrestleMania look at nine them cowboy boots, that baby. WrestleMania nine look, which I thought was random yep, as hell. Yep. Um, this is another one that I thought was a little random. We have almost like an exact replica of the Galoob. UK exclusive Bro. sting and ring gear, but it, sized it up. Fun. Pretty nuts. Now we we know Galoob is a well. We'll get into it, but we know Galoob and original Seven and Tormir are related. But like you said, it's like what and like this is like a 1990 sting. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just kind of you know? baffling. But either way, uh, the debut of the giant, Big Paul, okay, unbelievable. Big gets giant his, gets his rookie figure. Alex Wright, as we discussed, this one I didn't see coming. The leanest uh, big boss man, big Bubba figure you'll ever see. Kind of has life. abs through his the shirt. Abs poking yeah. through his shirt. He's so jacked, and he's not. It's funny. We were we were really uh, putting over the scale and blessing that, but this is like the the biggest mess up I'd say in the line right. as far as that goes. And then, quite possibly one of the most random selections of all time in a wrestling figure line. Sergeant Craig Pittman is in series three, making his figure. Um, Debut and swan song. <laughs> Never got a figure hey, you, again for anyone. You need uh, the hammerheads, right? Yeah. Bro, right I mean, this is a I deep mean, cut. Why, what What are the pose that like that they're doing that Craig Pittman and Alex Wright are doing? They're like the Bret Hart like pose. Like I mean, dun, 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 dun. no, that's ready, like the wrestlers pose. Ready, like ready, you're yeah, posing that's, for that's a amateur wrestling stance, ready for anything. Yeah. Uh, we also saw a repaint of the Macho Man, a, re- a repaint of Ric Flair and Red Trunks. This is where it gets. Super bizarre. We also had oh uh, Booker T and Stevie re-released on single carding in a light purple. Apparently the red, which I do never, ever recall. And then and, and the black. The Series 1 black again. Well, the purple is, is the same color as that two-pack we discussed earlier. Yes. No. It's not like a different. You're no. saying there's another color no, of Harlem there's, Heat? No, there's dark purple and there's light purple Harlem Heat. Oh, my God. Yes. I w- at this We're, time, I'm just super excited. You know, they get these four new characters. I thought this line was dead. Still, unbelievably rotten to you know play with and maneuver. But as a wrestling fan, I was very excited. So, do you want to go through them one at a time and just kind of talk about them? Sure, the new ones, I think, for sure. Let's at least, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah the and then, ones. and I'm gonna check you, Bruce. You own the four, right, Alex? Right, uh, the I giant. Got the six. The, I got all six. Oh, okay. So I only get one of each guy. I don't. I don't have Hogan. And I don't have oh. that repaint, Savage. I think ah, fu- I right, think he kind of. I think he, hmm. I, I, I break my own rules, but I think these are different molds, so you need them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. If I was going to do a complete set, just one guy, I have one you of, don't have one to get the recolors. Guy. But you kind of need. Well, what do you have? A you don't have an NWO Hogan. You have a regular Hogan. Oh well, so we'll get into that when we get into it. Oh. We'll get into that later. We'll get yeah. into that. Okay. We'll get into okay. It. okay. Uh, Alex Wright. Alex Wright looks great. He's got the the, the necklace. The awesome. The the, the 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 you know the everything about the jacket is so it's so detailed. You know, like the the buckle hanging off. It was just um, wild that, like I said earlier, like these figures they came out and I mean, if you were a fan, it was initial like, oh crap, new figures, awesome, and then. They hung around in well into the attitude era of like peg warming, like especially I remember always being a KB Toys. Yeah, 
for mm-hmm. very, very affordable prices. They were just there. So Alex Wright was a big get for me. He was, you know, getting over on TV as a bright young baby face. Uh, and if, I wish he was more in his, like, pose. You know, oh, my God, if he was dance. in, like, the rock and dance. With, um, also, yeah. it should be said, anyone who rode in Colt Cabana's car, I'm sure prior to getting a girlfriend, this was in the back of it, like, forever for decades. Oh, wow. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, that- that memory of of the KBs with the cheap prices that that's how you would pick up a complete set maybe something you didn't really want maybe you were passing on these WCWs but one day you walk in you see the entire series 3 for a buck 99 yeah <laughs> you got a 20 spot you can get them all <laughs> yeah well they were they were that cheap i think they were uh, actually were they that cheap 199 i, I, I would could have been. I, I think that's about as they were definitely they 3 for 10 at one point they're definitely 3 for 10 yeah. at one point yeah all right the debut of the Giants. This was like what a great pick. This was the 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 big get from the set. This thing you could murder a man with this. I mean, three pounds. Uh, so look, like you can squeeze Giants legs together. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, and, not his arms. He, he, he is a glorified giant. Now, this is a bad example. Putting next to Big Bubba, but even next to Hogan, he's big. Oh, he's, he's the biggest tall. one by far. The heaviest. It's super cool figure. Great pose. You could, I, you could do like the choke slam, but it was like really low. Yeah, a little low choke slam. You have yeah. to give him a little jump ski. Yeah. A little jump. Use the I imagination. He had some sort of facial <laughs> hair, though. Uh, no, the initial giant was pretty clean shaven. I was okay yeah. with this. He had uh, a five o'clock I, shadow on the box, but. I, I think it's a great figure. In my mind, he comes out a little later than the other ones, but I can't. maybe I just couldn't find him this right is, away, even though I wasn't looking. Captain Insano right here. It's a, it's a great figure. I uh, love it. Let's move on. What about Big Bubba? It's Mr. Olympia. Big Bubba, <laughs> a.k.a. the Big Boss Man. This looks like Amish roadkill, really, if you didn't know. It does. The uh, my, my little pamphlet, we'll, we'll show pictures of it, have pinstripes, which would have made it a little more toyetic. Where would they be? On, on, his, like, like, on his pants? On his shirt. No, on his shirt. Pinstripe, got, like gray no. pinstripes. Man, hmm. anything to spice. Oh, yeah, it's like the box. The box is anything the to spice this up. It's actually pretty nuts that it has little, little silver deco hits, like for the suspenders, which is shocking at to say the least, right? The hair is also a little too blonde for, for my yeah, life. Yeah, it's just the likeness, the the scale, the aesthetics. It's, everything is off about this figure. Man, he is Amish um, roadkill for sure. Yeah, right, with like a little beard. Craig Pitbull Pittman. I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen a Craig Pitbull Pittman match, to be honest. <laughs> I did on Saturday uh, night. Six oh, oh, I've seen him. 605, Val. You, him and, uh, what's it, Recon? No, what's a... Uh, What's NWO Sting's name? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Viper Farmer? V- yeah, he's Viper. Oh, I don't know. He, That's going to drive me prototype, nuts. prototype is way detailed, more detailed camo pants. Cool looking figure, the Marines white t-shirt, the hat molded on. Um, but what is the box art say? Do you guys have the box anywhere handy, the box picture? Yeah, he's wearing a gray shirt. <laughs> My question is, though, what is it called? What is the figure called? Craig Pittman. Okay, because according to this pamphlet I keep referring to, his name is the Marine. Oh, that's nowhere on the. Figure. Maybe that yeah, was going to be his. His shirt says Marines. Right. Cobra, man, that drove me nuts. Cobra was Jeff Farmer's name. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Cool looking figure. He's jacked it's, up. It's, I mean, he's ja- dude, it's a great pose, great to play with. But like, this guy's not winning any matches. No. You know? Well, no. not on TV, but I feel like in my fig fed, I would have probably uh, pushed this guy. Maybe. Just the, the, maybe a U.S. title. Always, U.S. title contender. Yeah. Yeah. Do it for America. So, a flag match he could win. Yep. Let's let's talk about this. So something I found maybe a year or two ago on eBay. Now, granted, this this pamphlet here is <clears> public. <throat> How many hundreds of people got this, right? Internet's been around for what thirty plus years. It's never serviced online. I showing it just it actually just be, came up in my memories. It was only like a year ago. The shark. There's going to there was going to be the shark. Devastating. Which is nuts, right? Look how cool that looks. And not yep. only that, there was going to be the renegade. Crazy man. Look at this. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And look no. how toyetic that looks. It's unbelievable. So I was gonna ask, bell rang. gonna ask you guys who do you and I wore this shirt because of it. Who do you think got screwed in this set, which or like this series that should have had, you know, who who deserved a toy maker's figure? My mm-hmm. my top two 
Actually, top three would have been Arn Anderson. Like, where the hell is Arn Anderson this whole time? Brian Pillman, which I would have loved, like a WCW, like red tights with the fringe, like in the horseman, Brian Pillman. And three, I would have said the Renegade at the time. This time period, the Renegade's getting a hell of a push on TV. Like, he's always on. Yeah, well, he was coming. And he would have got it. I know. Um, I mean, like we we talked about real quick, this Hogan... He's in that WrestleMania 9 style. The Sting in his, like, WCW 90. Cool that they at least changed him up. But like I think said, that's like, another reason why I don't want them, because they don't even really make sense for the time period. I, I, I definitely want them. But um, it just it's interesting to me that, like, according to this pamphlet, my I keep talking about this pamphlet, <laughs> it lists that Series 2, it lists that Series 2 would have been Nasties in Orange, okay, which checks out, yeah. right? Harlem Heat in red, uh-huh. which checks out, right? Hogan and Sting in pink and blue. Does that check out? Is that what the Series 2 Tag Team Sting is? Series 2 Tag Team Sting is... No, black with red boots. Okay, so is this like a total... Does this pink with blue strap ever come out anywhere? No, there's pink with black boots. Like pink tights with yellow wrist tape and black boots yeah then there's green tights okay. with black boots pink wrist tape i mean these are all okay, fantasies so what but what else what the weirdest part is the last set of series two according to this the blue bloods mm-hmm. which do not come out till later to the ftc exclusives it's definitely in the series two packaging it, it mirrors the packaging perfectly right? so yeah very, very so there's something like, I, and you know what i'm connecting the dots on that there's something there too yeah right Hmm. Just very interesting. Yeah, those blue blood uh, figures, though. Ho- holy moly, with the uh, deco on that. William, well, we'll get into that we'll get in, a, next. in a second. But uh, also, this pamphlet I want to just jump to and quickly glance over it because they never came out. These talking WCW figures. So it's really it looks like it's Hogan one, Macho Man, uh, Sting, Vader, and they're just now you can hear your favorite wrestler talk to you. Four different wrestlers with stand to display your figure. Press button on stand to hear wrestlers speak to you in their actual voice. Each wrestler says two different remarks. Wrestlers can be removed from stand for action play. So Vader says, what time is it? It's Vader time. <laughs> Vader waits for no man. Uh, Sting says, ow! Vader waits for no man. The Scorpion He just Hogan says, the Scorpion Deathlock. <laughs> yeah. Man. Hogan says, training, prayers, and vitamins, Hulkamania. And the other one says, Hulk's the rules, brother. And then oh, Macho Man says, ooh, yeah, dig it. And I'm going to get you. Yeah. So we missed wow. out on these talking ones. I'm okay but, with that, considering that there's yeah. nothing different about the figure or even a repaint. Actually, look, I'm looking at this Hogan right now, the cover of the pamphlet. That's kind of what this figure looks like. Like, just like casual. Like, is this what he's wearing when he's going down MGM Studios? It's like when uh, WWE makes him doing a personal appearance, he's going to wear that. Instead of his nut nut huggers. I love that. Come out, cut a promo. Me, Look, 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 look at these Hogan's. Not tan enough. Nope. Not tan enough at all. All right. Let's uh, pick a favorite from Series 3 here, folks. Again, hmm. again, I'm torn between the giant and Das Wunderkind, but I think I'm gonna have to go with Das Wunderkind. I'm gonna go with the giant. Yeah. I mean, I'm he's, he the just giant. Das Wunderkind like just got an FTC, but you know, for the longest time, this was his only figure. I thought that was pretty cool. True. Yeah, I, I love the giant. I love that he's so big, so so ginormous. I just really wish this line would have continued with more. Unique super size. I wish we would have got the Renegade. Well, we get we, we get a couple shark. more. We get a couple more. All right, let's check All it right. out. All right, let's move on to the FTC two packs that came out of what felt like nowhere. So I really think this line is dead at this point. And then I remember, I think I saw this in like a Pro Wrestling Illustrated first, maybe like the ad, and I was like, "What?" Keep in mind now the NWO has become a thing, right? And then we see these. And this will always baffle me in the history of wrestling figures when any company does this. But we have Hogan and Savage redecoed in like NWO colors, same mm-hmm. figures, but the packaging still has 1994 like 
baby face shots of them on them, which I, I Hasbro did this with guys. And so I never understood that. Like, it's so bizarre. ECW yeah, but did it with a couple. It's weird because Ho- but Savage is in like silver and white and not white and black. Yes. Right? Maybe they were worried that like kids wouldn't want to buy. They're like, oh, oh, Hogan's not going to buy these bad guy Hogan. Stores. These are only at FTC. You got to buy them oh. like on the internet. And, and, see, and like, Hogan doesn't have it. Hogan doesn't have his beard, correct? Um, I think I think on this first one, no. Yeah, this first one, no, no painted beard. Okay. Yeah. So true. that's exciting as hell. You know, you're getting and the first representation of like the NWO in figure form, right? But right. then also out of nowhere, and I guess if we're connecting the dots, that maybe these were already ready to go and got canceled. You get the freaking blue bloods, William Regal, Bobby Eaton. To this day, Bobby Eaton's only, oh no, only oh, he's got the classic. I'll say this is the longest time his only figure. Uh, he's so way cool. too short. I don't know what happened. I I don't know if Regal's too big or he's too short. Because Regal is Regal jacked great. up. Regal's awesome. Regal's a great. So cool. Yeah, I'm gonna say Bobby's too little. But Regal's mm. a great Bob. representation of this line. Like great pose. Too much deco on the coat, you so they had to make them smaller. I don't know. Less yeah. plastic. It's pretty wild though. Yeah, his little ring. Great, what, what's what? What's his get? What's his gimmick name? Robert Eaton. Isn't that all it is? Hmm. Is it like Earl Robert Eaton or something? Earl like that? Robert Eaton. Mm. I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's so, a great two pack. I. I didn't have a. I did. I. I. I kind of wanted it, but like I wasn't collecting right now to to wow. to, to to warrant getting it. And then right. in this, you were collecting these or collecting in general. These I wasn't collecting these. And then yeah, yeah, right. we also get Harlem Heat again redeco, and we get the Nasty Boys again redeco. So it just keeps going. But the the Blue Bloods and the NWO were the ones that gave people that last you know gasp of like, oh my god, this is still happening. And and you made your parents order these for you. You had them all. Yes, for sure. And I want to say I got them for like wow. a Christmas or something or Easter. Yeah. I can't remember, but I Lucky. got all four because Lucky I, son of a bitch. Yeah. Wow. Pat, Pat and Diane were always good to me, man. Um, I like how uh, Eaton's in the the ring gear. Uh, I'm sorry, the entrance gear, and Regal's not. It's cool. It's a cool like. It's uh, still cool. Co- I'm still blown away to get other. it. You know. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so a random random release yeah but it, it's not random if they were supposed to come out you know and FTC ch- says I'll pick them up so uh, yeah, I'm a little confused so so they're original San Francisco toy makers but they were just distributed on a website for the first time yes yes this is wow four exclusive two packs to figures toy company man interesting yeah internet is uh, taking over here I wonder yeah. and it, Someone, this is like mail-in style too. It's like I'm sure they had a website, but this is more like order it through money order it on was uh, both. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's got to be '97, mid '97, right? Yeah, yeah. I would say right. early '97. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. All right. Interesting. So but the line here is that's basically it. It's dead, mm-hmm. and they launch the the vibrator wrestlers. Yep. But we get throughout the years we get a bunch of strange releases that um were kb toys exclusives um right. we can get into those if you want and it, it gets very <laughs> strange and through the woods but i'll uh i'll try to go through the hits here all right let's do it all right Is uh, it's these Monday Nitro shit and it's heels and faces, right, Broski? Before, before zombie, before zombie sailor. Yeah, that's heels true. Heels and faces. Heels and faces. So the packaging depicted whether the guy was a good guy or a bad guy. If they had like a more purplish packaging or like a more right. yellow and orangish packaging. The ba- the faces say baby face. Baby faces, yes. Yeah. Well, well, first I don't. I believe first is the four pack. That's the KB. That has Hogan, Randy Savage, the Gigant, and Ric Flair. And the Giant has like different color hair. It's almost like jet black. Giant has way darker hair, yes. It's very obvious yeah. in person. I, I prefer the original with the light brown. Same just because I know it's from Series 3 and that's right. you know, the rookie right. in the debut. Um, again, it's a Savage and Hogan. Um, 
I believe this is the Hogan that has Hogan has the beard. And Hogan Savage has the beard. So and Savage instead of silver, he's white. Right. So right. these That's are the, the ones one I want. have. So I bought this 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 four pack for these figures. To me, this is like my NWO madness macho. And uh this is the Hogan. Great job, you know, with what they did here, painting the beard, the NWO, the title. I wish they would have spray painted NWO on the actual title. Hmm. But, yes. Brian, you don't have these? So in my rules, like in the way I care about these figures and the way I look back at them, it's all pre NWO. So I don't want right. any NWO representation in, in the line. Got it. Not to mention okay. if you're if you want to do you know, you're seeing the pictures here now and you could do your research or whatever, the attempt at these is pretty half assed. It's not like this no. epic epic Hollywood Bro, Hogan thing. I, mean, I, I thought the Hogan is no. great. I think this Hogan is the but size of ten it's with this one with the beard is great. I yeah. don't know. Great is so there's the, a, the single release Hogan and, and Macho as well in this, right? Okay, so that four pack was completely released single carded. The Giants right. on a heel and a baby face card, apparently. Yep. Okay. The the I will give him this credit. Out of nowhere comes Kevin Sullivan with face paint, red trunks, yeah. a much more toyetic version I, I, of himself. I had to I had to get this one. That's the one you need because yeah. Yeah, he's he's the cool dungeon uh du- yeah, so now dungeon I'm like guy. contradicting myself because I I got the other one because I'm like, oh that's the one that I had and I never like right. I have no memories of this or cared about this. Got it. But you you need this one of my Kevin Sullivan this had to have been a a a Robbie Kanoff buddy. He's in this set, he's in the first <laughs> set of the uh the vibrator guys when he's yeah. barely a thing anymore, like had to have been. Mm-hmm. Um we got Harlem Meat and the Nasties again. On it. What's that? I wish they would have painted the singlet on him. Or something. I mean, they could have, right? It wouldn't yeah, have mattered, bad. right? But even though the, the face paint makes it instantly toyetic and instant purchase for me. So, um, so much better. Yes. So then also, let's just, for the record, if you're keeping track, there's four sets of Harlem Heat and there's four sets of the Nasty Boys. Do we do you want me to get through I, these right now? Please, let's do Cause it. Because it's one, so confusing. One last time, because my, my mind... Say the colors. All right, Harlem Heat is available in black gear, red gear, Light purple and dark purple. Okay. Okay. And this single release in this final set is light purple. Light purple. And even yes. is this a set where they call them the wrong names or is that series three? Um uh oh. Oh. Yep. It's series I'm looking series. right now. He uh Stevie Ray is Booker T and Booker T <laughs> is I remember uh, that like right, played yeah. tricks with me when I was a kid. I was like, did I mess this up? Because I opened them and like no, I don't have the packaging no. of the ones I was playing with for two right. years, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, okay. And then the Nasty Boys have the original black shirts. Uh, mm-hmm. They also have uh, orange they shirts. they have the variant without the tattoo. Okay. If you count that. They have orange shirts, green shirts, and then at the very death blow here where they're like not even a thing on TV anymore, yellow shirts. But they're baby faces. Right. But they're on the baby face side. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Um, then I mean, the last thing we'll get into these these shocked me, and I have no idea how these came out. Okay. These last this this death blow. Yeah, I'll because never I'm forget. Looking at them now, if you're thinking about time frames, weird. Dude, my what? It, I want to say it's Christmas '98. And I had already just got like an epic haul of bone crunchers and WCW. I mean, just unbelievable, you know. And it's late in the afternoon, and my family's coming over for dinner and stuff. And my little cousin comes over, and he has this Sting two pack. And I'm just like, Wolfpack versus Crow. <laughs> I'm speechless. Like, what? <laughs> what is yeah. that? I'm like, did you make that? Like, no. He's like, no. I got it for Christmas. This- <laughs> I got it for Christmas this morning, and I'm just like, I couldn't process it like what did you make that yeah i 3d printed it i mean no, yeah, no he's, he's not, not he's not, not two different fucking characters either it's like sting versus sting it's the same unless this is supposed to be like nwo sting which doesn't okay. make sense so think about how far along this is from where we were like right not only is nwo cooking the wolf pack's cooking yeah wolf pack when they both wolf come, late at 98 yeah they both come with the vibrating uh, bat that doesn't fit into the hand yeah. at all. Yes. You know? So you doesn't you don't fit. see Wolf Pat Reddit and and Black Sting until late ninety eight. That's literally what I'm saying. Right? So like right. I so don't know figure. how this got made. Like this is clearly a brand new mold. Like it's not like they just repainted something. Like right. I don't know how this happened. 
They're just like, let's get a sting out. All right, let's do both. It's actually, yeah. when you look at it, great figures. I they're great. The love. They're not bad. Yeah, they right. The love because they're they're so late in the line. It's got the padding on his crotch, on his you know his knees, his yeah. thighs. Great two pack, and then this Wolfpack thing they re release on his own. Yes. Yep. This My KB boy. was wonky in as the a heel. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember the Wolfpack KB, ever being heels. <laughs> KB was wonky uh, though in the in this era because you had like. All the bendums, then you'd have like the uh, the special edition uh, Jack specific bone a lot crunches. This is people don't realize, yeah, yeah. And then but one final, gone. one final b- death blow. Flexi, Lexi just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> Look at that! The total White package. Boots. Lex Luger, the total package. This rules. This pose. <laughs> this killer double buy. He's it hitting is here. Unbelievable. Great likeness, ponytail. I mean, the white boots. This I had to have because this is a '95 Lex to be like. This needs to be right. Oh, uh, you you're, now you're just making up your own rules here. Why can't I do that? So anyway, ponytail he, I think is more like Wolfpack, like NWO. But he's wearing the the armbands and no, the white boots. He, yeah, 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 yeah. White boots and the armbands is is, is baby face. His uh, baby face. Uh, this is like I, I noticed his, his his hair tie is is painted blonde. To match his hair. It's, <laughs> a, it's a giant. It looks like he's wearing a scrunchie. That's the biggest hair tie I've ever seen. <laughs> his hair tie is painted blonde. <laughs> yeah, no, it's All his right. own hair. He wrapped it in a knot. Great little fig yeah. there. Um, crazy though. Yeah, and this one I completely count as in my collection, and, and I think it's so cool. Did you, you put the guy so in the you, torture rack? Broski, did you get... Yeah, you can definitely hit a monster tor- torture rack. Did you have Lex or the the Stings at the end there? No, or no? I didn't have any of these. Wow. I, I was wow. out. I was out. Crazy, I was full, By this point, it helps in Smash and Slam. It's Toy Biz, right? Or are we oh, still yeah, at the dude, end of San Francisco Toy... No. It's, this is like... Uh, right, maybe not 98. Maybe it's right... Toy dude, it's, it's the death blow. It's right before the... Maybe these are like molds they had and they're like, F it, let's get these out before we lose the license. Yes, you know, absolutely, maybe. yeah, maybe. Or they were working on it at the time. Pretty nuts. Yeah. I don't know. Great, wow. great, great, great figures. So, um, but really, I'm like, so I only have unique characters. They're all around me. I could look. It's like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty guys. It's twenty humans. Hmm. I think you're nuts not to have the Hollywood and the and the macho. Nah, I think you're nuts. Nope. I think you need them. No, nope, because I, I, I like to. Uh, they, when I reminisce and I get sentimental about these, I think of pre NWO WCW, and I don't want them colluding that. I understand. Collusion. I, yeah. They're, they're like, I'll be honest, like these these Wolfpack and Crow saying they're backers. They're in the back of the ring on my display. Yeah, I see. No, they're not the center by any You want that, si- yeah, they're, they're that in innocent, back. no NWO WCW, 605, Saturday night. Yes. You know? You just had dinner so, with your, but, your family. You're downstairs playing with your toy makers, watching the Superstation. Playing with your to- I got to tell you guys, after going through this, I think I got to do it. I think I got to pull the trigger on the 20 yes. unique guys. You got I'm, I'm going to get the uh, NWO ones for sure. Oh, really? No. But and this is funny because guys- I, I had them and I sold them. So we're going to get them back. I literally just the, sold the, them on whatnot, I feel. The, these aren't figures that you can buy Lucy, unless nope. like you're there inspecting it, you know. And oh, when dude, I, I, I wouldn't, when I just I did wouldn't the even bother buying them, Lucy. Like, no, no because you yes. can't clean them off. You can't no. clean this. That's another thing that we didn't these. touch on. The scuffs are basically permanent. It's crazy. It's like yeah, nothing it's I've paint. ever it's seen. It's not before. scuffs. It's like paint a gone. Yeah, it's yeah. Right. It's nothing you can do. Um, can we talk about one last thing? The elephant in the room. Okay. Something about this toy line. These did come out. Can we talk about? The hero heads. <laughs> Broski just wants to get this in. Can we, can we talk about the hero heads? I here? never saw those uh, in a store. I have no recollection of those from my childhood. Can we talk about the hero heads? Can we talk heads? about the hero heads? I, like was, everyone, I was convinced. Everyone at home is just watching or listening to this thinking, man, is he going to mention the hero heads? <laughs> well, I mean, I was convinced he didn't come out until this Hogan I have has a fourteen ninety nine. That's crazy. Toys R Us price tag sticker on it. Crazy. Um, so you bop them. Bonk them. Hero heads. Have fun with soft, safe. First of all, these aren't safe. Uh, <laughs> pillow fighting action hero heads. So really, it's like Sting's head on a bat, Hogan's head on a bat, Vader's head on a bat. And you just beat the like, shit out of your friends. What's this is not safe. Like that's packaging, but what's under there? Like a handle, like on a wiffle like ball bat, bat, like a bat, like a wiffle like, exactly. ball bat. 
Yeah. And you make up nail your friend with this, you little brother? You'd knock, Is that safe? You would knock somebody the fuck out with that, dude. <laughs> no, of course you would. Maybe that's maybe they got recalled. And that's why they're now, so I rare. Definitely did. Now, now, see, my Hogan is like all wrapped up in like this, like what? What is this like? Uh, cellophane. Kind of is this like cellophane, right? The cellophane. Like, oh, cellophane. Who got a cellophane? <laughs> and I was gonna like take it out, and then I realized maybe there's a reason it's wrapped like this. Because look at this. The man they call Vader, but if you can see up close, it's all cracked and like falling apart. Hmm. You know, it's like disgusting. I really, like, man, do I wish there was a Ric Flair that one of those so Mark had to own it and put woo. it on display. Damn. Yeah, I would actually love that. Look, I would love guys, it. Look, what are you, you ain't that big. koozie I got you. You're going to display yeah, that? Yeah, but that's literally scary. It's like a scary. <laughs> I would love a bust bat of uh, Ric Flair, but a, that koozie looks like a haunted f- freaking. Look how big these, these are human heads. Yeah, that's, that's the big, size man. of that's Mick Bader's head. Comparable to your noggin, insane. dude. Insane. And Holy cow. The man called Sting. Is a man. Did you get these Sting. all from one person? No. You I collected them throughout this time? Sting, this Sting is signed by Sting. Because <laughs> Mark brought it to work for you. About these on Mark the brought it to work for you, man. You got to sign a catering. Uh, hey, imagine if we had major pod hero heads and we're just beating the shit out of each other with like, like a swaggle head. I know Connect's I watching. I Don't imagine, even sorry. think about it, pal. No, wait. I think we got to make a hero head of somebody. Like a Stang hero head? Oh. No. They're great. They're great <laughs> display pieces. They are. They're, seems I, like a I lot of money. I will give you one thing. That is a unique piece of wrestling memorabilia. Holy shit. Yeah, I love it. Unique as f- yeah. how it is. Do you have those displayed? They're about to be displayed. Um, when I'm On his floor room. next to his yeah, next to all desk. the other crap he has <laughs> I've displayed. So uh, you mentioned but, it in the beginning, though. Uh, there's a lot. Eh, maybe not a lot more, but there are some other things to original San Francisco Cisco toy makers. We're not talking about they had smaller versions of these figures. They had articulated versions. They had well, big they articulated smaller, versions. They didn't have small. They didn't no, have I'm sorry, not versions figures. of these. They had articulated versions of these, and then yeah, smaller so, versions of those. I mean, yes. if we're we're gonna put a little button on this, I mean the the vibrators are one and done. I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, talk about all well, time. No, they're wrestling. not. They're not. They're not one and done though. Because they get the they get like multiple they like FTC doesn't get the, the outsiders. I don't two-pack. think that's FTC, but there's like an outsiders two pack. That's it though, right? Okay, but then they come in like don't they come with like rings as well as like stupid like Halloween habit? Okay, rings yeah, and stuff like that? whatever. Either way, maybe major flop. They quickly pivot to the articulated ones in multiple sizes, and those don't do so hot either. So, yeah. but that that's they, where weird. at the end of this these. The, you know the the rubber hard guys we're talking about like that's what they're focused on you know what i mean so when we got right, things of right. these it was like whoa what they're still making those right right you're, you're right. getting like the nasty boys like what like i loved the little uh title belts that would open up with the the play sets but you know what's weird about that so like one of them has hogan and sting which are clearly based off like the the vibrators right yeah but then the other one is like Nasty Boys, which are based off these. Yeah. Hmm. Right? I think they're just like, looking for what? a team to put with Hall and Nash, but yeah. Or also, Brian Knobs was friends with Robbie Kadoff, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Well, you can hear a lot about, uh, you know, the original San Francisco toy makers and their story in the toys that made us on Netflix. Great, uh, you know, wrestling figure history piece. And Robbie so. Kadoff's a real character and very entertaining in that show and he's no longer with us so i'm uh, i'm glad we right. got to do this and uh you know shine a little light on a little piece of wrestling history and, and i do hold a like pretty tight sentimental value to these figures for sure mm. Ser- series one 100 yes i mean just look at him real quick who got their rookie figure i mean a lot of people did here like alex wright craig pitbull pitman uh the blue buds yep kevin sullivan Right, I mean, yeah, totally. Who else got, is that? The Giant, yeah, yeah. Um, Heavy hitters, it? Harlem Heat, Harlem John, Heat. J- Johnny B. Bad, yeah, yeah. Wow. Some people only figure Craig Pitbull Pittman only figure <laughs> until you, until that FTC came out. Alex Wright's only figure, yeah. Right, I mean, first and last, the only only incarnation of Big Bubba. Also true. Wow. Right. Not even man. Even Mattel hasn't tackled that in like a flashback or anything, huh? 
Well, that's only, true. Only, yeah. yeah. only incarnation of Bobby Eaton like this. Earl, Earl Robert. Earl Robert. Um, just a great, great line. I wish the the shark and Renegade would have come out. I'm still hoping that they surface. I was say if those pro, some way. even I'm not a prototype guy, but if those surface, I'd be a little itchy, for sure. Mm, right? How can you? I not? love those yeah. unreleased uh, vintage figures for sure. Yeah. I just think it's so crazy that they're in this fucking pamphlet. I keep we should make a T-shirt like of a, of a pamphlet where, and and no one like says anything for thirty years. Like not a, not everyone's uh, sick in the head like us three, pal. You know, it's just the way it works. Well, I will tell you this. Um, you know, what I was thinking about this. You know, in the Hasbro version of this video, we put the iconic Hasbro commercials. In the Buddies version of this video, we put the iconic Buddies commercial. I don't really remember a WCW original San Francisco Toy Maker commercial. There is wasn't in the budget. Right. I don't think there is one. So that's like an interesting piece of this whole thing. Definitely didn't have, first of all, it comes out in a horrible time period for pro wrestling. Mm-hmm. 95, it's like, mm-hmm. historically, business is down. You know, so they're trying to launch this toy line. WCW has not hit with the NWO yet, so they're like swimming upstream here, but... They got Hogan. They did pretty well for themselves. They got, you yeah. know, they made it work. They got a decent number of guys. Yeah, we've got a lot of free, free repaints, <laughs> but you don't need to get those repaints. But you know, like knowing what we know about making toys, that's that's how you maximize profit. So that doesn't for sure. baffle me as much as it did when I was a kid. Um, guys, I think there's only one way to really end this right now, and that's for all three of us to do our best Das Wunderkind dance for everyone on YouTube. Uh. See you next year, folks. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>